everyone welcome back to another video and today i'm going to answer a pattern that i have seen on social media folks often ask me kunal what is the easiest programming language to learn i'm just getting started or whatever i want to take a different approach and share with you what is the most difficult programming language to run, learn okay so if you're new to the channel make sure you like share and subscribe i have found you can find all the things that we do in the community the, the links everything can be found in the description below let's get started so the most difficult programming language spoiler alert is your first programming language now difficult i'm saying in double quotes okay uh, because when you have not done coding at all in your career right so uh, when you pick up the you know, coding languages for the very first time that particular introduction to the coding world programming world that is going to be new to you so when i was in my first year when some, when students asked me kunal should i learn java or c++ should i learn javascript or python or whatever so i don't know what to answer because in my heart i want to say do both and then work with what you like you know do whatever you are working with or whatever you aspire to work in when i was in my first year in my freshman year i learned how to code in uh, java c c++ python and uh, javascript and uh, there was one more a uh, golang right that was in my first year i know like around um, seven to eight languages that i can work in today itself maybe more and i can teach as well and in, in addition to that in my first year itself i learned uh you know and made projects and contributed to open source in the fields of like like web development i learned about everything about like you know like machine learning like you know getting started with it and able to teach it higher level concepts as well making projects and doing amazing things so web development machine learning uh, mobile development data structures algorithms interview preparation um, cloud and devops and like kubernetes stuff um, linux and all these other things networking computer fundamentals like compiler design operating system database management system design everything i did in my first year should be i should probably make a video on that how i did all these things in the first year itself so um you know it's really hard to you know answer the questions then when students ask you i do this and that where i can and i'm not a, like a it's not like a child prodigy thing or whatever i know many people do do the same thing uh, who are contributors in open source i think it all boils down to having fun not stressing about it and just building things and enjoying life you know so try to see you know what all text texts are there uh, how are they being used so for example i tried out mobile development i did not like it so i don't do mobile development now you will not see me doing mobile development you would not find any projects of mine in mobile development any experience on linkedin with mobile development never did mobile development that much i just tried it out and did not like it um so in the end it boils down to just having fun not stressing often times what i have seen is students uh, this is a this is an important point i would like to mention try to be humble when you're first starting out in tech i see students who learn how to deploy a website in a url and then they are like overconfident and everything um you don't have to be perfect when you're first starting out that's another important point i'd like to mention no one expects you to be like a senior engineer when you're looking for an internship what they do expect you to have is uh, an open mind to learn explore contribute learn by doing not being spoon fed obviously people will mentor you but they also need people you have to understand uh, if you're talking about the mentor mentee relation you have to understand that your mentors are also going to be busy people um, so you have to be consider of their considerate of their time as well so tech stack programming languages or whatever which one is the hardest to learn the first one and hardest is also in like double quotes so for example if you're learning java from me it would be very easy for you because of the way i have taught um but uh, yeah once you so i just like to sum up that once you have learned a particular tech stack or a particular language once you're into the coding world programming world then learning about the other uh, you know languages and other things it's not going to be that difficult okay you are already familiar with the concepts of like programming languages object oriented programming and things like that um so it's 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 not going to be an issue that is why uh, big tech companies also they don't really care if you're giving your online coding round in c++ or java or javascript or c or other languages uh, they mostly care about your logic building skills because they know if you code in one language you can code in another language so when i gave my google interviews that's what the, the google people told us to all the people who are giving interviews that uh, it was they give you a sheet sort of thing and in that they mention 
that you can code in any language because we believe that if you can code in one language you can code in other language as well so it's not like i give interviews in c++ then that would be a better better thing for me no the language does not matter but yeah the most difficult language <laughs> not really that difficult it's a little bit of a funny statement it depends on case to case basis but try to learn in a more real real sense like applying whatever you're learning make learning fun is what i would recommend but yeah the, uh, personally for me there isn't a thing called hard languages or harder text tag or harder anything all the questions that have been solved in life they're already you know like there someone has already discovered it all you need to do is study what someone else has put out there the difficult things are something like is p equal to np now that's a difficult question okay <laughs> uh, time travel things like that uh, singularities these are the difficult topics in the end it all boils down to interest okay um maybe challenging but yeah, it, it definitely boils down if you if you can find that passion find the interest and have fun while learning even the most complex things you can learn pretty easily so when i was learning about deep learning and stuff a lot of folks were like this is difficult because they did not have interest in it right differentiation equations and all these other things and machine learning fundamentals were not clear so i found it pretty easy because i had fun while doing it so that's pretty much about this video make sure you like share and subscribe and hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one have a great day